Okay, so it's starting off in a tabletop position. We've got the hands directly stacked underneath the shoulders, knees stacked underneath the hips. Spreading the fingers out on the mat and we'll begin to rock the body back and forth. So really important to just get those wrists warm, get them moving before we start with our downward facing dogs and planks and chaturangas and all that lovely stuff. And then from here, we're going to take the hands to face towards the edge of your mat and then gently rocking your body again from left to right. And then bringing those hands to face forward, fingertips facing forward. Okay, on an inhale, we're going to look forwards, draw the chest forwards and push the shoulders away from the body, lifting up through the tailbone and allowing the tummy to drop down. So we inhale, looking forwards, lifting up through the tailbone, and then exhale, taking the chin down to the chest, tucking the tailbone under, pushing the shoulder blades up. Inhale, allowing the tummy to drop down. Lifting up through the tailbone, pushing the chest forwards. Feel the openness through the chest. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. And the key to this is just doing it as slowly as possible. Slow it down, make it last your breath. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. And round and on your next inhale just coming back into a neutral spine position okay from here we're going to take that right leg out behind you the option is to just stick with the leg if you want to make it more challenging we can take that left arm forward and again you can stay in this position just looking down on the mat keep that right foot flexed if you want to make it more challenging it can held through the nose as we exhale nice and slowly bringing the right knee into left elbow Inhale, reach, slow the movement down, exhale through. Inhale, reach, exhale through. One more, inhale, reach. I'm going to bend your right leg, taking that left hand to the left hand side to the right foot. If you've got hold of the right foot, you can look over your left shoulder and try and lift that right leg a little bit higher. And then placing that left hand back down. We're going to bring that right knee back in towards you, but hovering that right leg up off the mat. And this time we're going to inhale, take the right leg out to the right hand side. Now, careful you don't push the weight over onto that left hand. We're pushing equally through those hands. Inhale, lift that right knee up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Straighten the leg if you want to. We're going to place the foot down and we're going to move the foot out to the right hand side and bring the hands with you. So the hands are still in the center of, the, of your body, so in line with your hips. If I turn the other way, that helps a bit so you can see where the hands are. So the hands are in the center. Nobody needs to see that, do they? Okay, now depending on your range, we're actually going to stay forwards in this position. So we're going to come down onto the forearms if you want to. And we're trying to push the foot down. So we're pushing that right foot down into the floor. And down on the forearms if it's comfortable to do so. We're going to make our way back up onto the hands and then gently walk that foot back in and then back into a tabletop position. Swapping sides, taking the left leg out behind you, flex the left foot, staying here if you want to, or working with the opposite arm. Inhale through the nose as you exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale through. Inhale, reach. Exhale through. Inhale, reach. Exhale through. Inhale, reach. Exhale, through. Inhale, reach. We're going to bend your left leg, taking the right hand to the right hand side of the body. Try and find that left foot. We're looking over the right shoulder. We're going to lift that left leg a little bit higher. Placing that right hand down, bringing that left knee back in. Inhale, taking the left knee out to the left hand side. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. 
inhale lift flex the foot straighten the leg out place the foot down and then sliding that left foot out to the left hand side bring the hands with it so keep those hands in line with those hips and we're coming forwards onto the forearms and we're pushing that left foot down into the floor making your way back up onto your hands start heel toeing that foot back in nice and slowly and then coming back into a tabletop position now from your tabletop position we're just going to walk those hands forwards so we're walking the hands forwards towards the corners of your mat now keep the hips stacked over the knees so we're lifting up through the tailbone now the option is to drop down onto the forearms depending on how comfortable you feel we can slide the hands forwards and we can come down onto your chest so we're into puppy pose this is quite hard to do and talk at the same time reaching forwards lifting up through the tailbone To come out of this bring the hands together or place them next to each other lift back up onto the forearms and make your way back up onto your hands okay let's tuck those toes under we're going to make our way up into a downward facing dog we're going to pedal those feet out we're going to inhale lifting the right leg up to the ceiling as we exhale bending that knee into split dog inhale straighten the right leg as we exhale hugging the right knee back into the chest inhale kicking it back out behind you and again exhale through inhale kicking it back out behind you i'm going to place your right foot down in between your hands or as close to the hands as we can go and we're going to inhale lifting up into a high lunge now your high lunge that right knee is stacked over the right foot we're up off that left heel we're going to inhale through the nose as we exhale we're going to take the hands to the shoulders so we're opening up through the chest we're looking up inhale through the nose as you exhale tilting the body forward now thinking about a nice line all the way down through the head down the spine down that left leg to that left heel inhale lifting those arms back up we're going to exhale taking it into warrior two warrior two that right knee is driving forwards we've got the right knee stacked over the right foot and we're looking towards the fingertips on the right hand if you want to make warrior two more challenging you can lift up off that right heel inhale through the nose exhale place that heel down inhale through the nose as you exhale taking the right elbow down to the right thigh reaching towards the front with the left roll that left shoulder back and we're looking underneath the left arm if you want to make it more challenging take that right elbow away from the right thigh keep rolling that shoulder back and we're looking up to the ceiling we're going to inhale lifting back up exhale this time bringing the right hand down onto the inner side of your right foot and lifting that left arm up to the ceiling now from here, if it's within your practice or if you want to have a little go at bind, we're going to drop that left hand behind you and take this right arm through the legs. Now we're trying to find your hands. Just move around a little bit so you see from the other direction. So take the left hand behind, right hand through. We're trying to find the hands by that right thigh or right glute. We're rolling the left shoulder back and we're looking up to the ceiling. If you can't reach the hands, use a resistance band or a pair of tights or something and walk the hands up release this bind take that right hand back down lifting that left arm back up to the ceiling inhale through the nose as you exhale bringing that left hand down lifting up off your left heel and we're going to inhale taking that right arm up to the ceiling exhale bringing it down we're going to step back into plank inhale through the nose as you exhale drop the knees drop the chest to hover the body down through chaturanga we're going to inhale lifting up into cobra now as you lift into cobra push the shoulders away from the body lifting up to so push the chest forward feel that openness through the chest exhale down tuck those toes under we're going to make our way back into downward facing dog we're going to inhale lifting the left leg this time up to the ceiling as we exhale bending that knee into split dog inhale straighten the left leg exhale hugging that left knee back into the chest inhale kicking it back out behind you and again exhale through inhale taking it back out behind you this time placing that left foot down in between your hands we're going to inhale lifting back up into a high lunge and we're going to exhale take the hands onto the elbows and we're just folding the arms behind you lifting up nice and tall inhale through the nose as you exhale folding forwards so keeping nice and strong through that left leg we're going to inhale lifting back up into a high lunge as we exhale drop the right heel left hand forwards into your warrior two and again if you want to make that warrior two more challenging why not lift up that left heel we're looking towards the fingertips on the left hand drop that left heel down 
inhale through the nose, exhale, left elbow to left thigh, reaching towards me with your right arm, roll that right shoulder back, we're looking up to the ceiling. If you want to make it more challenging, take that left elbow away. I don't think I can do this and talk. Oh, we're going to inhale, lifting back up into warrior two. Exhale, bringing that left hand onto the inner side of your left foot and lifting that right arm up to the ceiling. We're looking up to the right hand. And if you want to have a go at your bind from here, take that right hand behind you. The left arm is going to come through the legs and we're trying to find the hands. We're rolling that right shoulder back and we're looking up to the ceiling. Gently release, take that left hand down, taking that right hand back up, inhale through the nose, exhale, bring the right hand down, lifting up off your right heel. We're going to inhale, lifting that left arm up to the left hand side, exhale, bringing it down, stepping back into plank, inhale through the nose, as you exhale, drop the knees, drop the chest, or hover the body down to chaturanga, inhale, lifting up into cobra, exhale, down, and then tuck those toes under, making your way back into a downward facing dog. We're back in our downward facing dog pedaling those legs out. We're going to inhale, lifting that right leg up to the ceiling as we exhale, bending that knee into split dog. Inhale, straighten the right leg. This time as we exhale, right knee to left elbow, so across the body, lower the bum down. Inhale, kicking back into split dog, so bending that right leg. Exhale through, right knee to left elbow. And again, inhale, kicking it back out, opening the back up through that right hip. This time as we exhale, we're going to try and put your right foot as close to your left hand as you can go. So bringing it across the body, if you want to keep a bend in the right leg, you can. If you want to straighten that leg out, place that foot down. Now take that left heel down onto the mat, and then we're going to lift that left arm up to the ceiling. We're looking up to the left hand if it's comfortable to do so. Bring in the left hand down, bend the right knee if you need to, kicking back into a three-legged dog. Right leg lifted, inhale through the nose as we exhale. Placing that right foot down on the outside of your right hand. Drop that left heel down and we're back into this side lunge position. So we've got that right hand down, we've got that left arm up to the ceiling. Now from here, we're going to bring the hands down. I'm going to go over to the left leg. So we're going to bend the left leg, start straightening the right. I'm going to come down into our Skandasana side lunge. Now, depending on your range, you can either keep the hands down, let me just move that foot. Non-slip mats are great until you want to move your foot in a position. So we're in this side lunge position. Now we've got both arms on the inner side of your left leg. The option is to lift up that right toe, bring the hands together at heart center. We're allowing the um, tailbone to drop down. We're lifting up through the chest. Take the hands down, lean forwards. We're gonna push back into that side lunge. So placing the right foot facing forwards, right hand back down, bending into the right leg, lifting that left arm back up. Well done, everyone. From here, nice and slowly, we're gonna lift up onto your right fingertips. We're gonna inhale through the nose. As we exhale, we're gonna straighten the right leg as far as you feel comfortable. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straight. Inhale, bend. And exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Taking that left hand down to the right foot, lifting that left heel up. Inhale, taking that right arm back up to the ceiling. Exhale, bringing it down. Frame your right foot. We're going to step back into downward facing dog. We're going to inhale, lifting that left leg up to the ceiling as we exhale, bending that left leg. Exhale, taking left knee to left elbow. Inhale, back into split dog. And again, knee to elbow. Inhale, kicking it back out, back into split dog. This time as we exhale, placing the left foot on the outside of your right hand, taking that right heel down, taking the weight into the left hand. We're going to lift that right arm up to the ceiling. Taking that right hand back down, kicking back into a three-legged dog with that left leg lifted. Inhale through the nose as you exhale, placing that left foot on the outside of your left hand. Now dropping that right heel down, I'm going to go back into that side lunge position. I'm just going to turn around while you're holding that position. Otherwise, I feel slightly odd. So we're looking up to that right hand. Now from here, bringing the right hand down, placing it next to the left, and we're going to swap sides. So start straightening that left leg, walking the hands now over to that right leg, bending that right knee. We're going into your Skandasana on the other side. So keeping the hands down is absolutely fine. Lifting the toes if you want. If you want to bring the hands up, drop the tailbone down and we're lifting up through the chest. Taking those hands down, pushing back into that side lunge. 
taking that left hand down next to the left foot and we're lifting back up with the right hand. We're going to lift up onto the fingertips of the left hand, inhale through the nose as you exhale straightening the right leg as far as you feel comfortable, inhale bend, exhale straighten and again inhale bend, exhale straighten, inhale bend, looking down at that left hand, bring that right hand down lifting up off your right heel and inhale lifting that left arm back up to the ceiling, exhale bringing it down, stepping back into plank, Inhale through the nose, exhale, drop the body down, either through Chaturanga or drop the knees, drop the chest. Inhale, lifting into an upward dog or cobra. And then exhale, making your way back into a downward facing dog, pedaling those legs up. Well done, everyone. Change to the opposite side of the mat. Okay, on an inhale, lifting that right leg back up. This time as we exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, kicking it back out behind you. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, kicking it back out behind you. This time placing the right foot on the outside of your right hand. Drop that left heel down and then lifting back up into your warrior two. We're bending that right leg. Right knee is stacked over that right ankle. And we're looking towards the fingertips on that right hand. Now from here, we're gonna take that left hand onto your left hip. We're gonna go into your half moon pose. Now, personally, I prefer this with a block. Um, or anything that you can lift up onto, like a, a stack of books or anything like that. I'm going to, even though I've got blocks, use a lovely Ted Baker gift set that my lovely bestie gave me at Christmas. Okay, it's empty. I've used obviously all the stuff. Okay, take that left hand onto your left hip. We're going to take your right hand down onto the prop or onto the mat. So transferring the weight onto that right hand. Your right foot is facing forwards. Now when you're ready, just gonna move this back a bit, we need to start lifting that left leg up. From here, you're gonna flex your left foot and start opening up that left hip. You're then gonna take that left hand up to the ceiling. Now depending on how you feel in this position, Ardha Chandrasana or half moon pose, you can gently move the prop to the side and maybe just try and hover that position. When you're ready to come out of it, we're going to drop back into warrior two. Nice everybody. Okay, from here, we're just going to turn that fa uh, facing forwards back into a high lunge. So we're going to bring that hip facing forwards up off your left heel. If you need to move that right foot forward, please do so. Inhale through the nose. Now as we exhale, bring the hands together at heart centre. We're going to bring that left knee up in front of us. So we're going to straighten the right leg. We're going to lift that left knee up in front. Keep breathing whilst you hold that position. We're going to flex the foot, kiff the leg, uh, left leg out in front of you. Bring that left leg back into the centre, taking the left knee out to the left hand side. And then the option is to straighten that left leg to the side. Bend the left leg, bring it back into the centre. Keep that left leg lifted. We're going to take your right hand forwards into a mudra. That's forefinger and thumb together, nice and slowly. We're going to start kicking that left leg out behind us into our dancer's pose, Natarangasana. So take that left hand around to the foot, gently push the foot into the hand, and straightening out that standing leg. If you want to make it more challenging, try and take the left hand away from the foot, hold your dancer's pose, inhale through the nose, exhale slowly bringing that left leg down, Ooh, shake those legs out, inhale take those arms up, Exhale down through heart centre, and again, inhale, lift. Watch your head, but your prop. Exhale, take the arms wide. We're going to go all the way down into a forwards fold position. Maybe gently shaking the head from left to right. Soften the knees. We're going to inhale, coming all the way back up into a standing position. Looking up to the hands. And exhale, back into a forwards fold. Take the hands to the knees or shins. Inhale, looking towards me. Exhale, placing those hands down. And we're going to step back into a downward facing dog. So let's swap sides and do exactly what we just did. I'm just going to move my stuff. I do apologise. Okay. So we're in our downward facing dog. We're going to inhale, lifting that left leg up to the ceiling. As we exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, kicking it back out behind you. And again, knee to elbow. Inhale, kicking it back out behind you. This time, placing that left foot on the outside of your left hand. Drop that right heel down and we're going to inhale, lifting back up into your warrior two. We're going to go back into our half moon pose. Right hand onto your right hip. Use the prop if you need to. We're going to transfer the weight 
down into that left hand, start lifting up that right leg, flex your right foot, roll that right hip open, take that right hand up to the ceiling. If you wanna make it more challenging, try and hover that left hand either off the block or off the floor. And when you're ready to come out of it, we're gonna drop back into your warrior two. Nice, everybody. We're gonna flip forwards into your high lunge. We're gonna inhale through the nose as we exhale, bring the hands together at heart center, lifting that right knee up in front of you. Take the right knee out to the right hand side, bringing it back into the center. I don't seem to have room, but flex the foot. Oh, wait, I do. Kick that leg out forward. Bend the right leg in, taking it back out to the right. Kick the right leg out to the right hand side. Bringing it back into the center. Take that left hand forwards into a mudra, forefinger and thumb together, nice and slowly. Kicking that right leg out behind you. Taking the right hand to the foot or ankle. Gently pushing the foot into the hand and then straightening up that standing leg. If you want to make it more challenging, keep the right leg where it is and bring the hands together at heart centre. Slowly bringing that right foot down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down into an Uttanasana, a forwards fold. Gently shaking the head from left to right. We're going to soften the knees. We're going to inhale, coming all the way up into a standing position, taking those arms all the way up. Exhale, down. Nice, everybody. Take those legs a little bit wider. So we want the feet uh, feet wider than the hips, feet gently turned outwards. Inhale through the nose, bring those arms forward. Exhale, we're gonna come down into your yogi squat. Now in your yogi squat position, depending on your range, we're trying to get the feet flat. We're trying to turn the tailbone down and we're trying to push those elbows onto the inner side of the knees, lifting up through the chest. Now a lot of people I teach, They've been doing this for ages. Take the hands into fists, get a little bit deeper into that stretch. If you've been doing these a long time and you find that actually you're not really stretching anything, use a prop. This might be a little bit too big, it's a bit stupid. It's a thinner prop than this. Take the hands onto the block and then you really push those elbows into the knees, lifting up through the chest. Oh, gently taking it back down. And then taking those hands behind you down into a seated position. And we're gently gonna rock the knees from left to right. And moving forwards towards the camera. I won't tell you what we call this in my pole dancing classes. Okay, well done everybody. Bringing the soles of the feet together, inhale lifting up and exhale folding forwards. Try and get those elbows on the outside of the shins and we're taking the chin down towards those heels. Inhale, lift. We're going to hold on to your feet. I'm just going to move myself back a little bit. I'm going to try and lift the feet up off your mat. Push those knees back down. Now just be careful that you haven't got anything behind you that you could particularly uh, potentially roll onto. Um, anything that could potentially hurt you. Or a cat or a child or anything that you could potentially hurt. Okay, now either staying here, push those knees back down. We've got those feet lifted. If you want to stick with me, we're going to try and straighten out your right leg to the right hand side. If you want to be, ooh, if you want to try something a bit more challenging, you're just going to try and take that hand away, point the toe and present your leg. <laughs> Bend that right leg back in, try and straighten the left leg this time. Point the toe and let's just try and hover that hand next to it. Brilliant, bring that left leg back in. If you want to go for both, I'm just going to slightly change angles so that no one needs to see that. We're going to try and straighten the legs. Now, if you've got hold of those legs, push the chest forwards and push the legs out. We're gonna bring the legs together and we're gonna go into boat pose. So take the hands to the side of the body. I've got my palms facing up. Well done, everyone. We're gonna inhale, we're gonna lift those arms up. As we exhale, I'm gonna bring my hands down through heart center. I'm gonna twist to the left with my upper body, keeping the legs where they are. If this is too much, bend those knees. I'm going to straighten the arms, pushing my right elbow into the outside of the left knee. And I'm looking back to that left hand. Inhale, reaching back up. Exhale, down through heart centre, swapping sides. Taking that left elbow onto the outside of the right knee and looking towards that right hand. 
inhale facing forward and exhale we're going to hug the knees into the chest watch what's behind you and just take it down onto the mat so we're down on the back gently rocking the knees from left to right take the knees apart and then from here going into your anada balasana happy baby pose so lifting the feet up to the ceiling take the legs as wide as possible push the lower back down into the mat take the hands onto the feet or the ankles and we're drawing the knees down towards the back of the arms it may feel comfortable to gently rock from left to right And then placing the feet back down onto your mat. We're going to take the arms back down the side of the body. Palms are facing down. On an inhale, we're going to lift those hips up to the ceiling. Exhale, coming down. And again, inhale, lift. We're going to hold it this time. That doesn't mean hold the breath. So the option is to either keep the hands down on the mat, interlock the hands underneath you, lift up a little bit further, draw the shoulder blades together. You can bring the feet in closer towards your body, or you can even lift up onto your tiptoes. Just watch the knees, try and stop them from splaying outwards. I'm going to hold this for one more breath. So inhale through the nose and exhale, gently making your way down onto the mat, hugging both knees back into the chest. Take the knees apart, gently rocking from left to right. And then placing the feet down on the width of your mat, take the arms down the side of the body. And we're going to drop both knees to the left hand side and if you want to increase this stretch place your left foot on top of that right knee and you should feel the stretch down that right hip sometimes into the right obliques as well depending on how much work we've just done take that left foot off the right knee bringing the knees back into the center and dropping the knees down to the right hand side and then placing that right foot on top of that left knee just to help aid that stretch a little bit taking the right foot off the left knee bringing the knees back into the center maybe gently rocking the knees from left to right and then drawing the soles of the feet together allow the knees to drop open taking the arms down the side of the body palms are facing upwards closing down the eyes you're going to take a nice deep breath in through the nose filling up the tummy with air we're going to exhale through the mouth, so in through the nose, and then, now as you exhale, really suck the tummy in. I'm going to take this up so you can see what I mean, to squeeze the tummy, so inhale, and then exhale, and again, inhale, exhale. One more, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And that's what we'll do. So just inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Filling the tummy up with air as we inhale. And then drawing the navel to spine as we exhale. next exhale straightening out the legs take the legs as wide as you want to allow the feet to drop outwards and start to wriggle the toes wriggling the fingers gently rocking the head from left to right we're going to draw the legs together and we're going to take the arms up overhead Bring the hands together. We're going to take a nice deep breath in through the nose. We're going to hold the breath and we're going to try and tense the body. So we're going to inhale through the nose, tense the body, try and lift the legs a little bit up off the mat. And exhale, release. And again, inhaling through the nose, create as much tension in the body. Exhale, release. One more, inhaling through the nose, create as much tension in the body as you can. And exhale, release. Releasing the hands, maybe gently rocking the hips from left to right. And then when you're ready, bringing both knees in towards the chest, keep the knees together. Ooh, sorry. Take the hands onto the knees, gently rocking from left to right. And then you're going to roll over onto your left hand side or your right hand side into your fetus pose. 
And when you're ready, just coming up into a seated position. And keep the eyes closed if you want to. Sitting up nice and tall. We're going to take the hands into mudra, so forefinger and thumb together, either the palms lifted or the palms facing down. Just going to roll the shoulders back. We're going to inhale, taking those arms up to the ceiling. And exhale down through heart centre into prayer. Inhaling through the nose, filling up the tummy with air. And then as we exhale, gently bowing forwards to one another. Namaste everyone. Well done.